This is a short video to show you how to make the rhizobus fungus slide. What I'd get is a microscope slide and a set of tweezers that has a nice sharp point to them, some other tool that you can um, probe with and some water. You just need a small drop of water onto your slide so your hyphae won't blow away once you've put them on there and then you can go over to the um, fungus. So believe it or not but this used to be a, a punnet of strawberries. Uh, we find that strawberries grow rhizopus really well although they will grow on a, a range of different food substrates. Uh, what you're actually looking here at here is a few different organisms uh, and you should choose the correct one. So rhizopus will be this one over here um, some of these other ones, the different coloured ones, should leave alone. I'd go for this grey one. And what you should do is actually get in and have a bit of a closer look because what you want to see is not only the, the hyphae, uh, so the anatomical parts of the, um, of the fungus, but you also want to see the spore producing sporangia. And you can actually see them with the naked eye. So let's get nice and close. Here we are nice and close to the fungus. What you can actually see down here are little dots and those dots are sporangia, they're full of spores. The aim would be to pick a, a tiny little tuft of that and put it on your slide. You don't need very much at all. So here we go, probably about that much. That's the amount I've picked, it's a very small amount so let's put it onto our slide. And there's a drop of water and just put it into there and that's where the other tool comes in handy is to drop it into that water just scrape it off you can be a little bit rough at this stage and there we go that's the slide we've produced you probably won't need a cover slip because that'll just crush the sporangia so try and have a look at that under the microscope you probably only need to use the four times objective lens maybe the ten times to get a good photo